bad mortgage lending practices were partly to blame for the financial crisis. That's why MEPs have been discussing proposals aimed at smoothing out the national differences and ensuring home buyers know what they're getting. The man who wrote the report wants borrowers to have more choice of products that are safe. The Parliament is uh, saying that uh, the mortgage market must be enforced, must be a transparent, must be a professional, must be a reliable market with a high level of protection for consumers. The vote in the Economic Affairs Committee was complicated and led to much amusement among MEPs, which some found inappropriate, but they were more concerned that the proposals could be too prescriptive. I'm still really concerned that some of the language could close down some of the first-time buyer products uh, that are out there. Given the wide diversity of the housing market across the EU and the variety of mortgage traditions in the member states, a common approach is hard to find. But some MEPs see progress, especially regarding competitive interest rates and foreign currency loans. This was a positive contribution which really changes something. We will see that in the negotiations, but the Parliament has made a step forward today. Reckless lending practices helped fuel the property bubble. Now many building projects stand empty while house buyers can't afford repayments. The new proposals are mainly aimed at helping consumers wanting to buy. Ce que l'on souhaite éviter c'est que plus aucun consommateur européen ne soit pris dans un prêt qui ne peut pas rembourser parce qu'il serait d'un montant trop élevé ou trop mal adapté à ses à ses besoins ou à ses à ses attentes. The MEP behind the report told journalists the new legislation should bring down the cost of borrowing, help capital to flow where it's needed and ensure the mortgage market is safer, more inclusive and open to all. But this was a first step. It'll take time.